Montana artists are gaining exposure in China. Back in September, a group traveled to Asia to take part in a tour and exhibition called West on the Left, East on the Right. They're represented by 188 Art of Shanghai. While the organization is established in China, they're looking to put down roots in the United States. And their budding relationship with Big Sky Country might just make Montana a perfect fit. The earliest brushstrokes of the latest artistic relationship between Montana and China can be traced back to the streets of Livingston in 2013. And then I saw a group of Chinese tour buses come to Livingston and they immediately went to Albertsons and to McDonald's and went straight down to the park and I thought, wow, what a tremendous opportunity. From there, Selland, along with the help of two business entrepreneurs, formed the Yellowstone Asia Initiative. When a former classmate was trying to set up a show in New York or Los Angeles for 188 Art of Shanghai, Selen said, why not Montana? And we can do things in Montana uh, where you would be a big fish in a little pond, and we tried it, and it's been tremendously successful for the last three years. So. The effort got a boost from Governor Steve Bullock's 2014 trade mission to China and has resulted in sales of 90 pieces of art in China, totaling almost $1.5 million. During the three-year period, Chinese artists have visited Montana, Montana artists have visited China. Most recently, a two-week tour of Gansu province in northwest China. Their trip featured stops along the legendary Silk Road to places like the Great Wall, the Dunhuang Sand Dunes and Mogao Caves, and an international cultural expo. It's a collaboration that has paid off and continues to grow. We're now exporting art created in Montana and we're importing great Chinese artists that have, don't have a presence in Montana to showcase their greatness. So we're uh, taking the contemporary art business to its next level and we're also monetizing goods that are produced in Montana and exporting them. One Montana artist who has benefited is Livingston's Joe Fay. During the trip it was announced one of his works was added to the permanent collection at the Joe Twen City Museum. The goal of an artist is always to get into collections. That's where you want it to be. You want it to be in a place where people are going to see it for a really long time, that it, for posterity. And so having a scene in China is really, really exciting for me. It's a good fit, considering the role art plays in Montana's economy. And probably the fifth largest contributor to the economic base in the state. And when we form these international partnerships, Montana benefits in two ways, not just through the arts, but also through the ecotourism. We really want to have more Montana artists, their works coming to China and be recognized and sold in this market. In the same way as the artworks from Orient, from East Asia, we want to have more works can be introduced to American people. And we want to use Montana as an initial point, then expand to the rest of the states. Selen says Montana, and Bozeman in particular, is on a shortlist with Washington for the project's American headquarters. Currently, 188 Art represents about 150 Chinese and 30 American artists, but that number could soon grow considerably. We're looking to recruit uh, 200 to 300 artists, um, and with the output being 60 being selected for our next round of artists. So that call will go out through the Montana Arts Council either at the end of this quarter or at the beginning of 2017. Meaning more opportunity for the big sky to be seen in the Far East. And Selen says 188 Art hopes to announce early next year where their U.S. headquarters will be